farm friends. So today is the day that we see how much damage was done to one of our walls by um, squirrels and mice. Uh, we've also noticed some ants in that area. Uh, so we're going to take down the wall and do some cleanup and do some disinfecting and then put back up the wall and hopefully that will stop the invasion. Stay tuned. <music> This is the result. They did not get into the rest of this wall, thank God. We don't think anyway. No, they didn't, so that's good. But they did clean the entire cavity of insulation. And then they left a little bit down here, and it looks like... Oh, that's the, that's the fire stop. Oh, and that's, okay, that's the fire stop. So, okay, so that's what we're going to have to replace is right there. So, not as horrible as we had initially thought um, but still not a welcome not a welcome surprise for sure so we're gonna get to work on repairing that well it's all cleaned up we were able to clean up the floor all the way back uh, all the way around the snowmobile we bleached the area so it's been disinfected and we'll let it dry before we uh, reinstall the insulation and then we'll have to replace that board right there Thank you. very most hated job on the farm is starting the generator. Like, I hate it. It makes me feel weak.
I don't really mind shutting off the generator. certainly easier to shut it off than it is to turn it on. We run out of plastic, and so what we're doing now is we're piecemealing um, just places where, because of the way the uh, wall was done, we needed to put in other pieces. The first one right up there, we're gonna do this piece next, and then the final piece that we do today will be right here, that piece right here. I was incorrect, we're not gonna do that last piece today. Um, Dan has some other things to do upstairs, and while he's doing that, I'm going to update you on where we are. So, who would like an update? So, there's lots of things that have been happening at Farm in the Woods the last week, and I'm going to go down through like a list of the things Most that we're getting. Exciting. Those white pipes you see there, those are plumbing pipes. And look at that, all the way there to the upstairs. So there's one pipe and you can see it kind of takes off on that wall. And there's the shower. So this is the shower. Um, I know it doesn't look like a shower yet, but it will. So that's the shower. We're covering the base of the shower, as you can see with some cardboard. Uh, we just don't want it to be damaged before we even get a chance to use it. So the washer and the dryer will go here. They'll be stackable. We purchased those two weeks ago. The toilet will be right here. That's the hole for the toilet. And then here is gonna be where our vanity is, right here. It's gonna be where our vanity is. And as you can see, we have both drains and water pipes uh, placed where we need them. So, the drain and the water pipe. And then the drain is in the bathtub, but I, I can't really show you that. And then we have the, the washer and dryer thing all set. The other exciting development is that we have hard wired the house. So this is like, there are steps of electrical and this is like step number one. So this is step one and I'm gonna show you what that- I had to check with Dan. It's called rough electric. So see, as you can see, we've got the boxes and the wires and the boxes and the wires. And so they're all around the house um, up here. And then of course there's other ones uh, in the bedroom and the here Back down in the there. garage, you can see on the ceiling, uh, there are wire coils. Those are where the lights are gonna be for Dan's garage, so right there. And then there's a coil here. And then, perhaps the most exciting part of the Rack Electric is that puppy right there. So that's our circuit breaker. Isn't it beautiful? And all the wires are in there and it sits right next to our solar panel um, gadget. What's it called again? Inverter. And converter. Inverter. Inverter. Okay. So Dan's going to explain to you how this little doohickey works. Well, it's going to be easier when it's all installed. But anyway, this is a charge controller. It dumps the solar from the solar panels in the inverter, which turn it into 48 volts and it's gonna charge the batteries, and then there's gonna be a generator. So we'll, we'll get to that here once it's, uh, it makes more sense. So there's more components that are gonna be mounted on the wall, uh, a lot more components. So then we can go through it in just six But in a nutshell, the solar panels feed that, this part here, this part. And then this part feeds the inverter, right honey? the inverter and then the inverter feeds the battery and the battery feeds the electricity for the house so the inverter charges the battery and then the battery is able to release electricity into the house we're also going to have a generator that will help do that um, and it and it's all done and controlled through this very very expensive piece of equipment by the way very expensive so that's the update folks a lot going on um, we're coming it's the middle of, of July already we cannot believe it uh, it's flown by uh, my school starts in a little under four weeks a little over four weeks um, we have a long way to go but we're encouraged because the um, people who are gonna help us do the outside are coming 
Uh, the plumber is done. He just has to come back in when they're finished drilling the well and the well people are coming in four weeks and the electrician will not come back until we're ready for him to finish uh, the, the finished part of the electric jobs. So, I mean, we're getting there. We're almost ready to start closing walls. Pretty exciting stuff. Hey friends, I'm getting ready to end the video, but I wanted to give you an update on the garden. So, gardens. we've got some tomatoes and peas, and I don't know what that is, but I think it might be cabbage. And then over here, I don't know what this is, um, but I think these are cucumbers, maybe, or Brussels sprouts. And then we have a pumpkin plant over here. That's a pumpkin plant right there. And then on this one, we have dill, cilantro, cucumbers, but there is not one cucumber in there. And then we have some peas. And then over here, we have tomatoes and uh, oregano, and then some more tomato. And then in here are some beans. Remember the beans that I planted last week? That's them. We've got some nice looking scallions. Um, this is the spinach that I, I don't know if you remember, but I planted spinach just a little bit ago and that's the spinach. Uh, as you can see, we've got some good pea pods coming. Uh, pea pods over here too. And then these are string beans here. That's all string beans all around there. And then I don't know what this is. I'm thinking it might be lettuce. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So the gardens are doing pretty well. Pretty so we're well. getting ready to do our wood scrap burning. Uh, you can see we've got tons of wood scraps that we need to get rid of. This is the wood pile that I made last week when I trimmed down those trees. Look how look how awesome that is. I'm so proud of myself. And we've just started to just started to burn a couple of wood scraps, and we still have some pretty large logs from last week too. Well, friends, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, so plumbing, electrical. We've started closing walls. Um, we're getting there. It's slow but sure and it's great to have you along. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, come join us on our adventure. Uh, we'll update you on the replacement wall and hopefully the next time we talk there'll be some more walls done that we can brag about. Thanks for joining us. You come see us soon right here at Farm in the Woods. Bye!